How to Draw Cartoons with John Mark. Today's lesson, we're going to do this cute little cartoon bunny in the woods. I'll be starting with my blue pencil followed by my mechanical pencil with a number 2B weight. This lesson, you're going to see me working really simply with a sketching out the character. Very simple bunny in the woods. And I'm actually using a larger piece of paper this time to give some more dynamic to the size of this art. 11 by 17. And as you can see, I just did the face. Worked on the ears right now a little bit. Feel free to be creative and use your imagination as always. And thinking about what type of color that the bunny might be right now in your head when you're sketching out. Is it going to be a white, pastel yellow, pink, or blue? You just use your imagination and thinking color. So those are some of the thoughts I'm thinking about right now. And then how the wood's going to look. You know, is it going to be a lot of trees or close up? Or is he sticking out of a log or a lot of um, nearby a river? You know, whatever. When I get to that point, I'm going to think a little bit more. But right now, let's get back to the building the body. And I have the basic shape for the hands right now there. That's looking good. I like that. And the other arm right there. Really, really small. A little bit more there. Let's get that a little bit for the leg. Like the legs, I'm going to have like twisted towards one another. Like he's sitting down. The back hind legs there, and the other one's just getting a little twisted in there as well. So you're going to see the front one on the right is overlapping the the left, and vice versa uh, as well. And then the big tail, the little tail. So let's get the the big eyes right now. Simple eyes. Going to make a little nose and a little mouth on that as well. Little tiny nose, little tiny nose and a mouth right there. All right, simple. That's a highlight for the big eyes. That's looking good. As you can already see, my blue pencil, the uh, the lead's getting a little bit softer. Let's get some fur and that fur overlapping the last ear on the far left as well. Let's get the little. Overlapping the fur, some sticking up from the back. Maybe a few on the tail right there. Shadow area that I'm going to add there later. You know, that's a little fur here and there. That's all right. That there is a shadow. Kind of like the curvature as well. His arm there, his mouth. You know, let's make a little blushing. You know what? I could have done also make the blushing the shape of a heart too. All right, now I'm going to be coming back with my mechanical pencil now, starting off. Let's see, let's get the, the nose first. A little dimension in there, a little three dimension. Like a letter V, heavier on the right side. His little mouth, very simple. Working on the eyes. There you go, simple. As you know, this is just a sketch right now, so this is not near a finished rendering anything so nothing is perfect again i would take this to a light box or you can actually take it to uh, uh, outside and take a picture and bring it back into your computer from your um, camera like that's on the phone and then bring it to a program such like photoshop and then you can easily re-render it on top of that on another layer and make it a little bit more uh, detail and sharper those are lessons to be coming in the future as well. As you notice, I shared with my coloring of an octopus on Photoshop already. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. And then here's another, the other side here. That's looking good. I like that. And I, as you can see, the bottom lines are not connecting like the blue lines. That gives me the shape. Let's get that top of the ear there. A little bit around overlapping there this is the big part and then when i have a skinnier part right on the inside there there we go all right and you know let's get some hair let's get that little fur going back up there i like that and you know what your little character if it's a little boy or a little girl rabbit you may want to put a little bow tie on the top or right on the bottom a ribbon shading in the inside of the ears that's looking good. A little over there. It's looking good. Let's get the other side of the ear here. Let me move the paper a little bit easier for me. 
All right, it's the top part of the big ear. Now, this side of the ear here should be shaded in all the way. A little bit more to get that dimension. But I'm going to pass on that for right now so I can just shade in the inside again. So I'm just going to shade on the inside right now. The different colors there. The fur. You know, maybe the bunny could be like a very pastel white. Maybe a tint of, you know, like a yellow or even a pink. in the shadowing, the highlights, and the cool blues. There's one of his little paws there. And his little line to indicate for the fingers and get the other side of their curvature. You can see the basic shapes that I had the round head, the round body, and then uh, filled up another round circle for the, the back and then the oval for the, uh, the tail. So when you're looking at something, everything has shapes and dimension. And when you're thinking about it, don't think of it being a flat line. Think of it like three dimensional how the curves actually look and feel like the face. It's not flat and the tail is going to be really, really round and puffy. That's when you're coloring it, it definitely will come out more than right now. But in your head, think about that and the three dimension in your head. Computers are great, but your, your brain and your imagination is so much more powerful and creative. All right, let's get that little shadow. I'm going to get like little hair lines in that one. And you can just see, I'm just, Give me a little curve there, just very simple. I like that. A little splash here and there for the fur. I'm going to go very light here for the blush. Very light, not pressuring too much. Very light. So this could be like a nice, 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 uh, like pink or even red. In that case, I could use blushing. Or she could be blushing. Okay, let's get a little, I'm going to make a little eyebrow there and a little on the top. I like that. Mm hmm. That looking good. You know, let's get some of the horizon and let's start working on the, the background. But wait, you know what? Let me do it with the blue pencil first again. As you can see, I trade it back over to the blue pencil. Just quickly, just sketching out some of the, the layout and how it might look quickly in the back. If that shrubs, bushes and some rocks here and there. Different shapes, big one, medium sized one, some more grass, maybe a tree over in here, this area. In the distance, another one in the background, another big one over on the other side and far, far away. Another one, a little smaller one here. All right, let's get that little, a little shadowing or a different color of dirt. So our little bunny is sitting on some um, dirt, really, and the outside area is a more grass area. You know, let's create like a little, little, little simple flower. I've been making these little simple flowers from close to 40 years right now. I remember starting them years ago, and they're just simple, really, like just on a blanket. All right, here's some grass. Here, you know what? I love mushrooms too, so let's put a little fun little mushroom here. Twist it backwards. I'm going to have one facing backwards and one facing forward, kind of giving a little, a little uh, movement in there, so it doesn't look too static. Always the same thing. High grass blades around the sides, maybe overlapping some grass blades in the front some of the back there little smaller rocks over there some rocks here and there with some grass here and there around there get some more dimension on that rock there's more grass so where do you see your like your little drawing now do you see the closeness like this or do you see maybe he's coming out of a log a big tree is behind there with a lot of vines growing over there or next to a river with a frog on top of there uh, sing along with more a bridge in the background, old wooden bridge or a copper bridge in that case. Um, what else can we think of at the time of the season? Okay, maybe mine is in spring. You could be in winter time, so you have more of a snow and snow pile up there in the coloring. Some taller grass blades here on the sides in between the rock. A little moss on here, growing a little little moss there on the side there. Get a little bottom there, more grass, a little shading. A little bit more shading there. A little back, a little bit more grass. That's looking good. A little rough grass, grass right where the rocks meet the bottom there. And likewise with this one over here, that's looking good. A little bit more detail than I want, but you know, we're this is just a simple sketch. A little shading in there. That's some tall grass blades. You can even do cattails. I should have thought of those, some of those in there. A little shading a little bit more there, the whole ground. A little 
So again, when you're thinking of this, when you're working, and if you didn't like what you're doing, that's okay. Think about doing some sketching on a side, on another piece of paper, get your thoughts down. This one, I just randomly just started and just flow however I was thinking. But if I was thinking now, I kind of like that bridge in the background. So I might have made a bridge, like an old cover bridge in the distance, way far in the background and some hills and give more depth instead of having just like a two layer here. Uh, more of a dimension so maybe next time i should do another character and i'll just do it with um a copper bridge in the background all right let's get this little flower simply done that's looking good and what i normally do with my flowers i like to make them center with like a nice yellow or orange and then the petals kind of like purples or blues the underneath of the mushroom there give some dimension lines just just remember put as many mushrooms and other flowers you may want to have in there too you just don't have to have one or two and size them different they don't have to be the same size one could be taller or shorter a little stubbier different shape as well i'm gonna add little white spots on those little all right so let's work on that little tree now here simple and i made the trees just very very simple again not putting too many leaves on it. these little ovals there's kind of a, like a dark spot on the tree i would just indicate a little shadowing on the back one because that one's in the behind the other one and finishing up this little spot there a little elbow there on that tree make them skinny don't like them too big make them delicate but you can make like if it was a big forest and make big pine trees either yeah, let's give some indication, like if there was leaves, little movement, kind of like the fur on the rabbit there. Not all the way around, but just randomize them here and there. And a little bit more over here. Little shading on the back side there. You know, let me get the curve at. Another, another dark oval there. So the color, so the trees could be, this could be still in the summertime or spring or fall. And the color of the trees can be totally different. So they could be greenish. And don't think of the tree bark have to be brown. You can think of them gray and make a pattern. And if they were um, birch, they would be white with black on there, which would really make a nice accent when you're coloring that one. And you can fit another shading in there, a little bit more. Another one in the background, a little branch on the side there let's do random ones far in the distance well, let's shade that in so sometimes just shading as you can see you can kind of uh, follow where the actual uh, line is instead of just saying is that a tree there or what's the shape more all right another one in the background over here let's make some skinnier ones on this side too let me just shade this one in first shade that one in first another skinny one way in the background another random one another one different size just have them throughout the area back there another one on the side there that's looking good random yeah as you can see here that didn't have any blue lines there and i just kept on going with my imagination just following it but the blue line does help give you a little basic to follow through and everything a little shade i like that all right you know what let's a little sh shadow here no that's looking good I'm going to shade in the dirt so he's actually on dirt not green grass there whatsoever that's i like how that one's looking a little shadow underneath his paws so if his paws could have two tones maybe maybe they're like a dark pink or even a darker smoky color all right i like that yeah as always when you're done and finished let's sign and date share with your family and friends thanks for watching this lesson and have a great day